Today is a sad day. Last night, Arsenal beat West Brom to send Big Sam down to the Championship. A bad day for traditionalists across the country, so please raise a glass to this fallen hero. Or don't. No one's going to force you. Anyway, let's get on to the real football. What are Palace doing up in ninth? Oh dear, I've got Roy Hodgson up my ass And Sean Dyche. They're both sniffing. Horrible analogy. <laughs> what do you mean it was undeserved? Crime or Jose? Oh my god. Goodness. Okay, Jose Mourinho is saying that I'm a very petty and bitter manager. That's like Nuno criticising me for only signing players from One Nation. Oh, D Declan. D stop it. Stop right there. Do you think you've outgrown the club? Absolutely not. I'm going to try and convince Declan to, um... Stick around. No. Right, that's a problem. <laughs> it's happened. Oh, Mourinho's been sacked by Spurs. That's the second manager I've got sacked in this playthrough. Get in. <laughs> so, the first game of the episode is going to be against Sheffield. Unfortunately, Barnes got suspended against Spurs for what I thought was a very fair tackle. In his absence, I've stuck Rooney up top. Lundstrom's coming back to face his old team because Declan Rice was whining about wanting to move to a bigger club. Not that such a thing exists. Everybody's agreeing with me for, uh, for telling him to get back in his place. When we're inevitably 3-0 down in 15 minutes, I'll be bringing Rice back in. How are you lacking tactical familiarity with the formation? We've played nothing but 4-4-2 since the start of the season. 25 minutes without a single shot. Good. Oh, oh, there we go. They've, they've done something. <laughs> it's only taken half an hour. Please? No? No, 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 Fleck. Ah, oh, that's a goal. First chance of the game for them and they've buried it. Oh, hello. Go on. Surely Rooney. Oh, no. Oh, no. This isn't a counter, is it? Oh, that was so close. Blow the whistle, ref, <laughs> please. I need to lay into the boys at half time. You've actually, uh, surely not, please. That's, that's just... First of all, Declan, I'm sorry for arguing with you. You win. Secondly, let's stick Antonio up top and Lingard on the right. I think I need a calm, quiet conversation with my team. What are you doing? Demotivated. You're 2-0 down, you idiots. You've had like one shot. Don't make me burst another blood vessel. <laughs> Go on, Lings. That's it. <laughs> oh, he's done well down the right. Oh, that's a good cross. Antonio's in. Oh, that's a good save. Bone's got space now on the right. He's going to thread it through. Antonio's in. Go on. The near post was so open. Oh, you just wouldn't, would you? They've had three shots. Just hoof it. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. Well, that's a depressing start to proceedings. I can't throw another water bottle, unfortunately, but... Oh, are well, you going to get motivated now, are you? Couldn't have done that during the... Game. I don't think too much has happened between the last game and now, but I've got an FA Cup game against Brighton. In this series, I'm mainly focusing on the league, so I'm kind of sending out some of the squad players for this one. I really don't expect much, because they absolutely hammered us last time, and I don't know how we won. Barnes is going to play up top, because he's uh, suspended for another two games in the Prem, so might as well play him while I can. Rooney's going to play as a target man, because I want to rest the thickness that is Troy. But yeah, that right-hand side of Livermore, Shawcross and Simpson just fills me with confidence. Oi, stop it, stop it. Get out of here. Yes, yes, sure. Cause, oh my god. I <laughs> can't do anything about that. If we can, uh... Oh, thank you, Rose. <laughs> he just tripped over his laces there. Don't, not again. Thank you, Martin. Bowen wriggles past two. Now I'll find Simpson. It's a good deep cross. Barnes, you're in there! How has he done that? <laughs> this game is cursed. Not another Lewis dunk header, please. Thank you, Cahill. Oh, we got a counter now. Bowen's got space. Look, look on the left. <laughs> He's been run through, but... Oh, go on, Bowen. Oh, just put it on target, please. We're actually playing better than I thought we would be. I guess we're playing as good as you can with a midfield of Noble and Livermore. Half time. We just got to keep going. This game is not over yet. Oh my god. What is happening? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm going to throw Antonio up top. Rodriguez on the wing. The scoring is aren't they? <laughs> okay, we got possession. Nice one, nice one, Jay. Now Livermore. Oh, that's a great ball. Antonio, you're in. Yes! Thank you! There we go, the first goal of the episode. It's a, it's a lovely, lovely little dink from Antonio. Hello. Oh, go on, Jay. Here we go. Can he find Antonio in there? He can't, but he's found Barnes who's put it over. Oh, no, they're going to counter now, aren't they? Yeah, oh dear, he's in. Oh my goodness, what a block. Mark Noble, you absolute hero. Willock! Extra time. Brilliant. Bowen's coming off for Jesse. Is Lingard the hero that we need right now? Another cross, please? It's, it's, this isn't going to be a counter, isn't it? Nope, sure cross. Oh, it's good. Go on, Jay. <sighs> if Jay can ruin their season twice in two games, then that would be quite funny. Five minutes to go. Lingard plays it over. Rodriguez, you're in. He's done it. Yes. Come on, please be onside. It's just funny at this point. Like, I was not expecting to win this game. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, it counts. I thought, I thought that was getting called off then. Oh, no. <laughs> 15 seconds to go. <laughs> Don't do it. I know we've... We've done it a few times this season, but can we not? 
Oh my god. Yes, it's over now. You know what, I'd, I'd written that game off as a probable loss, but the lads have shown some fantastic character to, to scrap that one back. So Declan Rice, you still want to move to a bigger club after that? Oh no. <laughs> Let's attend another one of these recruitment meetings. The last one didn't go so well. <laughs> Yes. I'm happy to deal with recruitment. I still want to get Mark Albrighton if I can. <sighs> no, Albrighton's still not interested. Okay, I've thrown an offer at Ashley Young. See if he wants to come instead because Albrighton's being a silly goose. Really? Young, you're not interested either? God, they want 39 million for Andros Townsend. That's an absolutely f not. Some people are really, uh, really invested in Andros Townsend over at Crystal Palace. Didn't think he was that much of a club legend. Let's see. I feel like the board are going to block this, but I want Townsend. People who actually play Football Manager seriously are probably just getting so angry at my business dealings. My scouts are saying he's like 55 rated, and I've just spent like most of the rest of my budget on him. Okay, Southampton time. Barnes is going to have to go back in his cage. All right, after just a two day break, the boys are ready for a bit of Southampton. Southampton are dead last on seven points, so I'm gonna hope that uh, we can get something from this. I'm giving Jack Cork his debut alongside Rice, Rose and Lingard. And then I've got Antonio and Dini up top because I don't wanna put Rooney anywhere near that striker position again. But yeah, let's be having them. Here we go. Why not hoof that at Dini? You have a, <laughs> a target man. I think that role is pretty self-explanatory. Well, there we go. We've created as much XG as Spurs did in the League Cup final. Right, something needs to change at half time here. This is awful. Just going to throw Bowen in there. That's all I can really think of. Now, Rice to hoof one, perhaps? No, Lingard, though. Go on. Oh, he's, he's beaten one. He's had a crack. Oh, dear Lord. We've got a corner. I'm going to try this again. You know what happens next. Oh, he's actually almost scored. I say, oh God, Dini. Dini picks it up deep. Look at him. He's going to hoof that at Lingard. I think he knows he's not getting through there. Oh, Antonio. Please, Cresswell. Could do with a Dawson header. Oh, it's fallen for Bowen. Yes. <laughs> That's such a weird celebration. I wasn't expecting that. I thought, I thought we'd bottled it, but oh dear. <laughs> we are lucky. Oh no. No, bad direct. That's a great save. If he wants to just put this into his own net, then uh, then I'll be grateful. Oh no. Oh, you just wouldn't. Oh my goodness, he's offside. <laughs> One more throw in perhaps? One more chance? One more chance. You can't blow the whistle there. It's a campaign against West Ham, I swear. Yeah, very disappointing game in, in truth. I was, I was really hoping that we could beat bottom of the table Southampton, but they've actually completely outplayed us. <sighs> I can feel my commentary starting to get less energetic because I'm genuinely getting annoyed and, uh, and disheartened by these performances. And for what is probably going to be the final signing of January, I've managed to get Andros Townsend. He wasn't the first name on my list because Milner, Albrighton and, uh, and Ashley Young all decided they were too big for me. But he's the kind of player that will just keep trying long shots and you just know that there's just no regard for XG going through his head when he hits them. And that's the kind of player that I need in my team. Plus, you can see by the work rate that he likes to run around a lot, which is the most important thing. Let's just not look at the fee involved, okay? Unfortunately, I'm having to unregister Andre Gray to bring him in, but uh, you shouldn't have got injured if you didn't want to get unregistered. Should have thought about that, shouldn't you? The games are coming thick and fast, and this time it's Crystal Palace who dared to stand against our merry band of monarchists. There's not too much I can say about the team. Uh, Barnes is still suspended for this game, but uh, Antonio and Dini are going to try this strike partnership again. Noble gets it out to Cresswell again. That's, um, got to respect the effort though, a 30 yard header. Now Antonio's got it quite deep. Going to find Lingard. Oh, he's, uh, he's sent that one a little bit wide. Oof. Go on, Lings. Oh, Lings. Lingard's in, it's scored! <laughs> what a time for a bit of Carling to go down the wrong way. Yes, Lingard, what a fantastic goal! Foster assist. <laughs> All those FPL owners are going to be delighted. Totally deserved, you feel. Yeah, I'm worried about Bowen's fitness, so I'm going to bring Rodriguez on the left for him. Oh, go on, Antonio. Send it. Oh, Dawson almost gets another one of those. No, Lingard's good. Go on. Oh, he's found Antonio! Oh, he's smashed the finish. That's good, though. We're starting to actually create some uh, better quality chances, which is good. And Lingard's in again, he's, he's put in a little bit of a wet noodle of a shot. Lingard's tired, so I'm going to throw Townsend on. Give Townsend his debut, why not, against his old club, which he signed from uh, about five minutes before the game. Oh yeah, I saw them Hallo, didn't I? <laughs> oh, don't, 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 stop. Go on, I don't see us getting through here. There's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of defenders back. Just don't lose the ball, otherwise we're in trouble. Oh, that's good, Lowton, you're through. Oh, what a finish, yes! I was not expecting that. Oh, Matt Lowton, you... Naughty, naughty boy. Right, I think that is the end of the game now. Should be. <laughs> Surely he's offside. I refuse to believe that he's offside there. 
<laughs> yeah, just, just fractionally. I've cheered up now. We were really bad at the start of that game, but we've managed to turn it around and two clinical finishes from Lingard and Lowton and a 7.9 from Foster. I know I accidentally signed him, but he's actually been fantastic. You know what? Maybe it was just meant to be. There we go. We're back into Europe. It's time for a crusade, boys. Oh my God. How are United like that far clear? Because I've only been feeding them. <laughs> this is great. My entire team is full of like influential players and like very influential players and they all love me apparently. The feeling's mutual, boys. Yes, we've absolutely smashed the average age of the competition. Proud of us. I'm disappointed. I would have thought that we'd be topping like aggression, leadership or work rate. That's what I've based my entire transfer policy on. I've still somehow failed. There is growing discontent at my reluctance to play attacking football. I have actually got it set to attacking. We're just, we're just bad. Ah uh, yes, I want to be judged on results and nothing else because that's what the game Gab Corti is about. And to finish off the episode, I have what I think is a very winnable game against Newcastle. And as Gandalf arrived at Helm's Deep on the fifth day, Ashley Barnes has returned from suspension to lead us to glory. But apart from that, I want to finish off the episode on a strong note, so I've gone full strength. Although I'm giving Townsend his first start on the right, and uh, Cahill's going to start on defence. Obviously, though, if things are going wrong, then we have to go crawling back to Antonio, but I need to give him a break. <laughs> I need to make sure that Antonio can actually survive the season. Oh, they got an early free kick. Oh, Dear Lord, I thought that was right on the postage stamp. Go on, Rice. Don't feel like there's much on here, but... Uh... Oh, we found Townsend. Go on, you're in. Oh, no. Now Rice with a bit of space. Oh, so it's a good pass again. No, oh, no. He's got space to run into now. Look at him go. <laughs> Look at his little legs. Oh, he's made it to the byline. Pen. Ref. Yes, come on. All right, Noble, you better not mess this one up, please. Yes, thank you. Go on, Lingard. Oh, Townsend. Go on. <laughs> was that a shot? He's hit that hard, hasn't he? Oh, Barnes, yes, go on! He's managed to nip in at the back post and stick it in. Very solid half, fantastic performance. Hopefully we can get a few more, though. Everyone's playing well, I've got no reason to really sub anyone. I think I'll just keep going with the second half. Go on, Rice, go on, Noble. That's it, go on, Townsend, you're in. This time, oh! He's actually playing really quite well. Oh, Townsend's done it, go on. Go on, he's nipped in. It's a 2v, it's not, it's Townsend. He can't finish. I keep hyping up Townsend here, but he's missed about four chances. Yes, big tackle, Rice. Oh, hello. We could counter here. Oh, Barnes has surged through. Go on, hit it. Oh, Dubravka's been on it today. Oh, and again. Hit it, Townsend. Oh, <laughs> I mean, on your strong foot, preferably. Hopefully we can win this back again. I don't like this. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, they got four minutes left. I don't like this. Go on, Rodriguez. Win that. Please, please, just, just take it to the corner. Just, I don't want any more trouble. My heart rate is already on the ropes. Okay, we got a corner. You know what? Scrap that. Get everybody up. I want to see Dawson on the end of this. Or, or not. That also works. Presswell gets it back. And Dini! Oh, come on! If we could do anything other than kicking it straight at the keeper, then then they'd be in trouble. That should be the end. If, if the keeper... Uh, if, if Ref wants to blow the whistle, please. Oh, no. Ref. Ref, I swear to God. Oh, my God. Surely. Come on. That's it. There we go. Another solid, comfortable victory. I will very happily take that. You know what? This episode's actually been pretty successful, apart from that game against Sheffield at the start. We've managed to get three wins and a draw in the rest of them, so uh, I'm happy with the boys. We actually have a very winnable run ahead of us, so uh, I look forward to continuing our onslaught in the next episode. Another massive thank you to the sponsors of this series and the two new sponsors, Kyle and uh, DFP III. Again, if you're interested in joining these fine people on the vest, then please head over to my Patreon. But yeah, there's definitely still some space down there if you want to be situated on my belly. Thank you all again so much for watching and I'll see you again later.